Y'all feeling all right today? You look good. You look good. I'm che checking out some of y'all fashion today. I see y'all put on your Sunday's best for me, look like. Yes, you did. Uh, let me tell you what's on my agenda, agenda today. Did anybody watch the Emmys? Yes, that's why I'm in a fashion state of mind. So I was checking out y'all fashion because one of my favorite things to do at all the awards, even if I'm not there, is to sit and watch the red carpet for all the awards. Anybody else watch to see what people are wearing? Yes. And, and I'll tell you a little secret. Sometimes when I don't go, I still get dressed up to sit up on my couch. <laughs> Jennifer may come down in the heel with a full red lip and a whole gown, and my son will be like, that's just my mama. <laughs> and Thompson will be like, Jennifer, where you going? Nowhere. Just to sit on the couch and watch the awards, because it make you feel like you're there, right? So I had to just watch um, this time around. I didn't make it to the Emmys, but first of all, I want to say congratulations to all the winners at the Emmys this year. Primetime Emmy at that, that is a big deal, and the nominees, because being nominated is like winning as well, because that will forever be attached to their names. So that's a win as well. So congratulations to them too. But what I want to get into, yes. I took pictures, you know how you take pictures with your phone of things that inspire you that you want to wear, or, and I shop on people. So I be wanting to put it in my closet. So I took a few pictures of some of my favorite looks from the Emmys red carpet this past Sunday. So check it out. Listen. Do you see this right here? This is the cast of Abbott Elementary. <laughs> Shirley Ryan, Tyler, Quinta, Janelle, Lisa, Chris, they outdid themselves. I remember them coming on the show, maybe season two, and saying how they all get together and go in on their fashion. If they didn't deliver, baby, they delivered on this red carpet. And I know for myself, I need Cheryl's entire closet. See, let me tell you what I love about her look. It's one so elegant, so classy. Do you see the look on her face? She knew she came to serve. That is a queen right there. That stance that she is giving, that's why she's the original dream girl. Yes, mother. And you can send me that dress. Then Tyler, speaking of the men, do you see this look? The whole, Quinta, the whole entire cast, I could go on and on and on. Now, a few others I want to get to, they all looked amazing. Miss Meryl Streep, where is she? Pull her up. <sighs> everything she does is just fabulous. This suit is everything. I like the little tie around her neck. And then the, she has a bit of swag, but then I think there should be an award named after her for every award show ever created because this woman is legendary in all that she do, okay? It just looks like a little dust of like a pink on this suit. I love it. She could send it right on to me as well. Mindy Kaling outdid herself. My favorite, the, the structure in this outfit. I love, I love silhouette over skin. To me, that is so classy to have the presence and, and the elegance and all of that and the shape. But my favorite part of my body is my decolletage. And I love how this is putting her decolletage on display. Do you see all of that up in there? She is serving. This looks like money, money all day long. And the main thing I want to get to, which I'm super excited about, I don't know if you guys heard, but I recently announced that I am finally coming out with my very own Christmas album. Can you believe it? You see my fashion? The gift of love. Oh my goodness. Listen, I have been wanting to release a Christmas album, I think my entire life. Growing up, I used to recreate Oh Holy Night every year and give it to my family as a gift. It was a remake every year. Yes, I said that. <laughs> Christmas and music is a huge part of me and who I am. And so it's something that we share within our family, which to me represents family. And I consider you all my family. So to be able to create a Christmas album that I now get to share with the world, it's, it's like a Christmas gift to myself in a way that I get to do this. So it is, it's finally coming out, which I cannot believe because I've waited so long for this. Yes. And the other 
fun part is that the, the gift just keeps on giving because thankfully you guys allow me into your home. So I want to be able to allow you all into my home as well. So I'm going to do a tour where I go out on the road and have a Christmas <laughs> tour. Okay? And, and, and it's going to represent... The tour will represent how I celebrate at home. I want it to be very intimate, very family oriented, where we all come together and we have a musical good time. Now, I ain't gonna cook too much for you. Don't want me cooking. <laughs> but I sure could sing you a song, so I hope you all get your tickets right now to come out to see me. Why I come out and perform for you guys? Put on your fancy outfits, eat your dinner before you come, okay? Ticket pre-sale starts today, y'all, okay? And exclusively for the Jennifer Hudson Show family, y'all are getting an early access. When you use the password gift, go to jenniferhudson.world to learn more. And if you want to learn more about who my guest is today, I want you to stick around because Leslie Jones, she is here today as my guest. I can't wait till she get out here. We'll be right back. Our first guest is one of the most hilarious women in Hollywood. Please welcome Leslie Jones! Okay, first of all, I have to fangirl also. Really? Like, um, American Idol. You watch me on Idol? Girl, are you kidding me? I was the one that was voting. I was voting <laughs> hard every time. I was calling, and then when they put you against Fantasia, uh -huh. and I forgot the other girl. Latoya? Oh, no. We, we was on the black girl road like, listen, no! Listen. Why did you put the sisters against the sisters? <laughs> Yo, I, I've always followed you. I always knew you was going to make it. Because Thank you. Because even on that show, you was pushing your clothes, even though, girl. I was. What you mean? I was Them pushing. outfits. You, don't, you wasn't for the outfits? Nah, because, like, listen. You, you sound like my sister. Girl, you can say, <laughs> but leave the sewing machine alone. <laughs> but, 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 but I was like, I love her because okay. you were just like, I, you knew you was going to make it, too. <laughs> And you knew that Ida was just a step. You knew it. Yes. You could tell by even when you took it so graceful when they thank eliminated you. you. And we was like, no, she's good. That's the I, star. Thank you. So you voted for me. Oh, every time. That's all that matters. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> I, I just had to have my moment. <laughs> I love that you had that moment. And th thank you so much for being here. I am so happy to have you here. And I love that you're my Virgo sister because you just yes, had a girl. birthday. <laughs> Yes, girl. How did you celebrate? Yes, girl, 57. 57? Yeah. You better look good. Yes, girl. Black don't crack, but uh, you still need lotion. Yes, yes. <laughs> did you do anything fun for your birthday? Uh, I was working. I, I had a show in That's Seattle, right. mm -hmm. you know, because we're on tour right now. And, uh, you know, we went for a brunch. I, I, you know, I, I had friends with uh, some fans mm -hmm. the next day who had a really nice brunch for me. Nice. Uh, H.O.B., uh, okay. House of Brats. And, um... You know, we just had a, you know, I, I just had a real pleasant come in, you know? Yeah, I feel like, you know, this birthday was a chill birthday for it the was. Virgo season. I just wanted dinner to see the animals, be with the kids, sleep. I, I, I just was like, everybody was like, what do you want to do? And it's a lot of pressure when your birthday, and they're like, Ain't what it? do you want to do? What do you want to do? And they worked like, me to death. Chill out. <laughs> I'm 57. I, I, yes. I've done everything. 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 <laughs> I totally understand that. Now, let's talk about your workouts, because you really be getting it in. Your workouts are intense. Yo, and you know what? Everybody says they can't do it. Yes, you can. Like, especially if you have a really good trainer. And my trainer, look at my... Ooh. I can't do that. Wow. wow. Oh, my God. Look at Ronnie. He's going to be so happy. I, oh, look, look at, at this. That. Look at that. That's... Look at me with my little... Um, I ain't know you was going to show that, girl. Well... <laughs> I'm all sweating in the crotch area. <laughs> well, you were working hard, Leslie. Uh-oh, she said, no. Jennifer, don't do that now. No, 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 I, I, I don't care. I, I want people to realize that that's what it looks like. That's hard work. When you're working out, yeah. And I'm getting older, and this is what I tell younger people. Stop playing around. Just go ahead and work out. Eat well. Eat well. 
eat well, work out, moisturize, drink water, get sleep. And I know you've heard it before, but it works. Y'all okay. always asking Gen Z, you know, whatever they call me. What, what letter am I? I, I have know. no idea. I, I don't even understand that. Me neither. Either. I don't understand that. But y'all telling us that we don't know. We don't we know? That's we why know. we look That's good. That's why we still here. That's why I look good at 57. <laughs> right. Because you want to get to where we at. Yes. And, and, and you always copying us anyway. Thank you. You always copying us anyway and keep continuously telling us that we're not cool. But you trying to do what I'm doing. Exactly. Girl, sit down. You better put them together. <laughs> Listen, and another thing you, you were doing, you were at the Olympics this summer. Yes. Did you have a good Did time? Did you go? Yes, child, I went, and I think I need a medal for trying to get to every event. And it, it was, was a lot so of walking. Hot. It was so hot, but it rained at first, and then it got super hot. Oh, no, it was so hot, and they don't believe in air condition out there. Is so that what it is? Every place we went, I was like, can y'all turn up the air conditioning? <laughs> Oh, look, ooh, yeah, look at that picture. That is so good. <laughs> if you approve of this photo. Yo, seriously, that was my Paris moment. Yeah. I'm dressed in, oh, I think that was Dolce and Cabana. Is it Dolce? Yes, that's Dolce. And you got the height for and, it, too. And, and listen, on the, on, look, you know what the, my favorite part is? The table. Because the, the table looks like an artist's table. You know, it's like table? water, you know, I'm not going to tell you what else was there, but it just looks like a messy table. And then it's like, I, I'm about to go have drinks with someone after the Yes, it's telling the a cabaret. story. Oh, my God, it's... It's... It's yes. a mo... See, you started... Oh, 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 that oh, picture... Oh. That picture is everything. She's feeling that. I mean, but that's like, when you follow me, you when you follow me, I would yes. follow me. I would follow you. Because I want to know what's beyond those doors. Honey. Yes, baby, and they're red, so you know. Yes. It, in the red? Drama. Drama? Oh, my God. Listen, okay, so tell me, I heard that... L.A. has the worst thing for dating. It's the worst thing for dating. What you think? I'm about not that? gonna say it's the worst. Like in scene. the U.S. I'm not gonna say it's the worst scene, but it's the worst scene. <laughs> Why though? What do you mean? I What's think it's because it's actors out here. It's comedians. It's it's L.A. and it's the sun. It's blah, 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 blah. <laughs> And they ain't got the, like, out, like, when you go to Montana uh -huh. and you go to, you know, those little Midwest states and stuff where they got to actually pay taxes on, you know, <laughs> you got the beach out here. If yeah. you become homeless, it's not really cold, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it, they just it... soft out here. And then they, they... they got emotions now, like, it's... It's different? They, yes! More with Ashley. We'll be right back. We're back with the one and only Leslie Jones. Can you tell us about your comedy tour? Yes, yes. I'm, I'm on tour uh, with Lenny Marcus, and we're hitting all the cities because I'm preparing to uh, do a special yes. this year. Um, um, yes. Uh, and I'm, um, I'm also going to be doing The Daily Show, September yes. the 26th. I'm going to do nice. that. Nice. Um, and it's just so many wonderful things. You know, I got a couple of projects that I'm, I got into boiling for everyone. And I, I'm just, you know, out here being funny. Yes, I love are. doing stand-up. The us tour so much is joy. so fun. It's so fun seeing people laugh at the same thing, you know. And, and I know I was hard on y'all, but I just... <laughs> I want you to understand that you got to fight for what you want, and it's not always easy. It's and not always it's easy. That, and, and listen, listen, listen. The walking, the walking around offended and hurt and stuff is not going to help you. It's not going to change anything. Only thing that you can do is you can't look in the past because you can't change it. You can't look in the future because you don't know it. You can mm. only live in the present and have some faith. You better speak. Oh, my God, I love that. I'm going to put that on my wall. Now, Leslie, you a fighter, for sure, because I heard you and your brother, y'all used to fight on road trips oh my for God. songs. Tell me about this. Okay, so my dad was your DJ, so he had all the records. Oh, really? And Anita Ward, you remember Ring My Bell? Oh, my God. Okay, so me, my cousin, and my brother, would he would put it on, and we would immediately give assignments. Now, I was the what oldest. What part you uh -huh. I was the oldest, so I was going to get to go, doo, ooh, doo, doo. But my cousin never fought. He always went, ding, 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 ding. And then my brother would get mad because he was like, you always make me the lead. But I'd be like, you the only one who know all the words. So he But it was like, only a few like, words. I'm glad oh. you're home. And I... Boom, boom. 
no, 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 no. You are. All I know is no. you can Come ring on. my bell. Boo. Boo, right. OK. Boo. Boo, I got that. Go ahead, go ahead. Boo. Where y'all at? Boo. Boo. I got to do the trainer. Ding, 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 ding. I need a bow. Ding, boo. ding, 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 ding. I'm glad ding, 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 you're ding, home. Ding. I don't know the words to this song. That's why my brother had to leave. But, 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 see, growing up for me, me and my okay. neighborhood best friend, let me tell you, Leslie, you so I used to walk up the block and I used to say, oh, are you, you can ring my bell. Ring my bell, ring my bell. Ring, you can ring my Ring my bell. Ring a ring a ring. Oh, listen. I, you took me back with that. Yo, for real, y'all. Y'all better sing and clap and play. See, half of them don't even know what they was doing. Half of them probably don't even know. But look, listen. Even, they know this, this group right here. They held it down. They probably was the backup singers. They probably that's the, the choir. Singers. They That's the record. Oh my goodness. See, I never knew who sang the song, but I what? promise you, I used to How walk through the neighborhood you. singing that song every day. So to hear you sing it, I never even knew the other pieces was in there. What, girl? Ooh. Are you kidding me All right I knew now? Was ring that was the back. song. And you son. heard me blocks away. And my mom just would sit in the front and be like, why y'all know all the words to that? <laughs> you don't know your math like you know that. Oh my God. You're yeah. gonna ring the bell of some A's and B's, is what you need to ring. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds just like a true mom. We want to give you something before you go, because I'm so happy to have you here. Okay. Will you come back again and see us? Of course. You I will. are so amazing. Oh my God. I'm Can we so sing happy, happy birthday? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Leslie. Happy birthday to you. Leslie M I am LeslieJones.com. We'll be right back. Our next guest went viral for her super speed. Take a look. From Broward County, Florida, please welcome Aleya. Talk to me about them. Wow. Is that all your medals? Yes, ma'am. You have more than that, don't you? Yes, ma'am. Oh, you're fast, huh? Thank you. Man, you're amazing. So you're the fastest at six years old. You ran 400 meters? How does it work? Like, I don't really know. So. You just run? Yeah. Wow, you just have a gift like that. You don't even have to think about it. Well, you just get out there and just leave everybody, huh? Yes, ma'am. Can you believe all that you've done because you love to run? Yes, ma'am. What's your favorite part about it? Uh, just um, running and just running my race and that it, that race. Really. That's it? And you're six years old? Yes, ma'am. So how old were you when you started? At three. At three? <laughs> wow. Oh my God, <laughs> that is amazing. Can you yeah. tell me what events you get to do? I run the 100, the 200, and the 400, and the 800. Look at that determination in your face. Whoa. You proud of yourself? Yes. You should be. How many medals do you have? I have 32 gold medals. Whoa, where do you keep them all? I put them on my shelf. On your shelf? Yes, sir. Do you yes, ever show them off to your friends? Yes, ma'am. Oh, that's cool. You deserve to do that. Thank you. How, do you. how does it feel to win so many races? Proud of myself and happy. 
That's right. Oh, my God. Do you ever get nervous? No, ma'am. No? Okay. Well, you're brave. Thank you. So you just set your mind. Like, why not? Why don't you get nervous? What calms you? Because um, I, I have faith in myself I'm going to win. Mm, confidence. That's a perfect attitude. Tell me, what's the secret to being a good runner? Pumping my arms and going as fast as I can. No one can catch me. I'm a gingerbread man. Uh-oh. Nobody can catch her. Oh, my God. And I heard you have a celebration dance when you win. Yes, ma'am. Can you show us? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh oh, get it! <laughs> oh my God, this is adorable! <laughs> That's how long you dance when you win. You better dance, yeah, give me five. Oh my goodness! Listen, that was amazing. Did you come up with your dance yourself? Uh, no, ma'am. No, I you just found a song. You found the like... song? Do you have a good song that you listen to before you go to Tehran? Yes, ma'am. What song is it? Um, I, um, I, um, um. You have it's... different songs? Yeah, a lot of them. I understand, because I like to listen to songs before I come out here, too. Yes, I can't dance like you, but I try to get my motivation to come out. Yes, ma'am. Now, your dad is your coach? Yes, ma'am. Is he a good coach? Yes, ma'am. What's your favorite part about your dad being your coach? He, um, I like when he's run with me. And I like when he, he's, he has, like, he spends time with me when I run. And I'm happy. He's my best friend. Oh, I love that. And you love doing stuff with your best friend. And I hear your best friend is in the audience because your parents is in the audience. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. How you doing? Hello. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Deandre, when did you notice that Alea had a gift? I would say at three years old, uh, she has everything. Uh, she's a competitor. She works extremely hard. She's focused. Uh, it's something that she wants to do. Me and her mom seen her work ethic, and we just had to keep on pushing her. Plus, we both athletes, so oh. yes, ma'am. So she get it from y'all. Wow. And Tasha, millions have seen your daughter running. Like, what is that like? How does that make you guys feel? It's honestly amazing. We go to track meets and people run up to her and give her hugs, takes all the photos, and she's inspiring a lot of families right now. Yes. Do you realize how many you're inspiring with yes, what you do? Yes, ma'am. And how does that make you feel? I'm actually happy that they know me and I, I'm really happy they know me and I'm really happy they're spending, they like hugging me and liking me and I like how, when, they're, when they're come up to me and hugging me and want to take pictures. Wow. That's because you're a star. Alea, I have to ask you this. Do you, do you dream to go to the Olympics one day? Yes, ma'am. Oh, we believe you will. We will be cheering you on. Right, guys? <laughs> now, Alea, I saw your good dance, but I couldn't have you come here without you showing us your good skills on the track. Will you show us? Because you know I got a track. Can we get to see you run on the track? You ready for that? Oh, she's ready. Y'all don't go anywhere. We got a track, and we got a race, and we got a runner. You don't want to miss it. Right, Alea? We'll be right back. We're here with six-year-old runner, Alea. I've got some of my staff here, and of course, my good friend, Walter. You see his shorts? He look like he good and ready to run. Friend, you ready? Okay, so you're going to run three laps around our track. Whoever crosses the finish line first, of course, wins. Y'all feeling this? Okay. All right. Let me get y'all ready. Get set. One, two, three, go! Yeah.
the podium. Child, I'm tired like I ran the race. Give me a hand, Woo! y'all. Woo! You deserve an official J-Hub medal. How are you feeling right now? Happy. She's happy, y'all. We are happy for you. We got so much joy watching you run that race. And y'all? Yeah! I, you deserve a medal, but I'm not gonna be the one to give it to you. I got somebody to bring it out to you. Just for you, come on out. Sydney McLaughlin, Lebroni is here to present you with your lovely medal. Thank you. you see Alea? Alea, is there anything you want to say to Sydney? She's an awe. I, I, I watch you and I like to watch you. Thank you. I loved watching you. You're so fast. Thank you. You're going to be faster than me. I already know it. <laughs> Thank you. Sydney, what do you think of Alea's skills? Amazing. I mean, at six years old, her form, her determination, um, your so polite as well. Isn't she so polite? Amazing. Yes. Amazing. I think you're going to do amazing things, and I can't wait to see what you do. Oh, my goodness. We got a star to make it. You got anything else you want to say, Alea? What you want to say? Did you do your good dance for him? You did? Because <laughs> you won that race, girl. You won. Great job. Thank you. Y'all give her another hand. And it is such an honor to have you here, Sydney. Please don't go nowhere. Y'all stick around, because we got more to come. We'll be right back. <laughs> welcome back. Please welcome four-time Olympic gold medalist, Sydney McLaughlin Lavroni. First of all, let me say to you congratulations. Thank you. Not only for the medals that you have won and all of those things, but being an inspiration mm. to young girls like Alea. Thank you. And to all of us. That's what's most important. Thank you. Like, yeah. to, to see her aspiring to be what you have done and then to have you here. And I was just at the Olympics. Yeah. And when I tell you, y'all had me feeling like I could do everything. Mm. <laughs> I was so, it's so yeah. inspirational, mm -hmm. you know, what you do. Yeah. Don't you guys feel that way? <laughs> okay, let me get this right. In Paris, you broke your own record yes. in 400 meter hurdles for the sixth time. Yes. How does that feel? <laughs> <laughs> oh, honestly. I was just like Alea. I always wanted to be a track athlete. I always aspired to go to the Olympics and yes. so, um, this being my third Olympics, being able to break that record for the sixth time, it's nothing short of God's grace, mm. honestly. Yes. <laughs> you run in faith, I'm a, I can imagine. Yeah. Now, you were so calm crossing the finish line. What was going through your mind? Oh, I mean, it's just relief. You work so hard all of your life for moments that for us last 50 seconds, you know? And yeah. so, it's such a buildup. There's so much anticipation that when you cross that line, you see the time, you're just like, God, thank you for delivering me through this. Mm. <laughs> Honestly. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I can imagine. Well, we can't imagine what it's like to be out there in the midst of that. But when you work and you prep, mm. you got to trust what your, you know, your practice and know like, okay, I can yeah. make it. I'm going to do what I know I can do. Absolutely. To get through it. Especially when you jump over 10 hurdles for a living. <laughs> 10 hurdles. Yeah. Wow. That is amazing. Okay. And then your family, they were there mm -hmm. and they crowned you. Yes. I love how you ran over to your family. And this is such a beautiful <laughs> moment. And they're all athletes as well. Yes. Yeah, the crown, my sister-in-law told me, she was like, I'm going to bring a crown, and after you win, I'm going to place it on your head. So that was her idea. Uh, but yes, my whole family, all, we all ran track. My four siblings, well, there's four of us. And then my parents, um, my husband was also an athlete in the NFL. So all the athletes, they all understand it. It's a yes. family function, and so, yeah, I, I wouldn't be able to do it without Is that where you get all your inspiration from? Yeah, we were always competitive growing up, mm -hmm. you know, like even 
running to breakfast in the morning was a competition. <laughs> <and> so <laughs> I honestly is just a natural inclination being a McLaughlin, so. That is beautiful, okay. It's like singing, running my family, you run in yours, huh? We do. That is awesome. Okay, listen now, what do you all get to do when you're there? Is it all focused on the, the, the track meets and the different things, you know, the tasks, or yeah. do you get to have fun? It depends on when you compete. Uh, for us, we went all the way up until the last day, so my fun was going to Greece with my husband afterwards as a, as a reward, but during, nice. we were locked in the whole time. Locked in, locked in and focused. Yeah. Amazing. Mm -hmm. See, it takes dedication and focus to be able to do that. That is awesome. And then you wrote a book. Can you tell us what it's about? Yeah. For those so, who haven't read it. I wrote Far Beyond Gold, um, Running From Fear to Faith, basically just about my story and my life. And uh, I was just like Alea, six years old, running track. And uh, she said she wasn't scared or fearful when she steps on the line. I was absolutely terrified. And a lot of that came from my fear of not being enough, not being yeah. perfect, not winning. Um, and for a long time, I struggled with my identity being wrapped up in track and field. And so the book is about Christ freeing me from that desire to be in control of my life and giving it to him. And now I run for his glory. And mm. he's, yeah. Mm. I love that. That's what I mean, you're such an inspiration. So would you say it is, because I know for me, my faith gets me through everything. And my mother always say, you're a yeah. woman of faith. So would you attribute, like, you being able to overcome those things through your faith? Absolutely. Faith? Absolutely. I mean, I think God has done so much through me, not only on the track, but just being able to reach people. And mm -hmm. I think that's what he's given me the platform to do. And I don't think I would have done anything on that stage at the Olympics if it wasn't for him. Mm. That deserves a hand right there. Woo. Now you wrote you had a hard time at the Rio Olympics. Yes. How's the first compare with your third in the Paris Olympics? Uh, at Rio, I was 17 years old and was thrown into the world stage not knowing what to expect. I think I've learned so much since then that now I can understand what it takes to compete at this level. Mm -hmm. And so I think that experience and that Tokyo as well, just kind of prepared me for Paris. And this was my first full real Olympics, I feel like. So I was ready for it. And you outdid yourself yet again. Thank you. <laughs> Keep walking in faith and inspiring the world. Whether you win or not, we want to see you. Will you come back again and see us? Absolutely. We're so happy to have you. God bless you. You can pick up a copy of Far Beyond Gold. I love that title. Running from fear to faith, anywhere you buy books. Okay, we'll be right back.